Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in Southern California driving something rather unusual, a three-wheeled all-American car called the Vanderhall Venice. So I know many of you are wondering, what is Vanderhall and why have I never heard of this company before? That's because it's relatively new and it's based out of Utah. This is actually registered as a motorcycle, not a car, being that it has no airbags, no doors or windshield wipers. The chassis is made out of aluminum and it has composite body panels. The interior gives you a vintage feel and I especially love the steering wheel made out of wood and metal. It doesn't have that many features but some that I was surprised with. It has heated seats, air conditioning, Bluetooth connectivity, and traction control. As far as practicality, there basically is none. This little glove box can basically hold your cell phone, and the trunk space in the back, first of all, it's very difficult to get into because you can't even fold the seat forward, but you can maybe put in like a lunch box or two. That's pretty much all you can put in there. It's powered by a 1.4 liter, four cylinder turbocharged engine giving it 180 horsepower and 185 pounds of torque. With its combined light weight of less than 1,500 pounds, it gives a zero to 60 time of 4.5 seconds. So let's go ahead and turn her on. So how's the experience of the Vanderhall? You get more attention in this car than I have ever did in any other car. Ferrari, Lamborghini, nowhere near the amount of attention. Anywhere I stop, anywhere someone could talk to me or, or ask me a question or anything, they, they do it right away. Right now, I just pulled over for a second to adjust the camera. Two people ask me, what is this? Explain this to me, whatever the questions were. And anytime I stop at a red light, people pull out their phones, they start taking photos of you. So if you're seeking for a head turner, this is the car for you. It feels kind of like a Shelby Cobra. Obviously a Shelby Cobra is a legend and I'm not trying to put them side by side. I'm just saying the fact that the interior is very vintage looking. Old school steering wheel, this little roll bar in the back and endless headroom. So I kind of like that. It's a go-kart but with a Shelby Cobra type of feel. Handling is actually pretty good but that's because it's front wheel drive so all the traction's in the front. The weight is 70-30, and it's actually pretty well. It stays planted, which I did not expect it to be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit unpredictable, but I know exactly where I'm going and where the car wants to be. Point out that it feels very well built. Typically when you hear something that's, you know, made for recreational, and these type of three-wheelers, they're mostly plastic, and it's not really held together very well. But this one caught my attention. It's not like a slingshot that's all plastic. And it feels like they actually put some energy and a little bit of detail into this interior. And I don't hear really much things rattling. There's a few little bits here and there, but I think I can excuse that for what it is. But it does have some issues. And the first one, which seems a little silly to me is you don't know what gear you're in. I understand it's automatic, but you don't know if you're in drive, reverse, and then when you use the manual, you don't know if you're first, second, or any of that. Like, right now, there's no indication whatsoever. I don't know why they didn't think of putting that in there. And second, which the glass is very beautiful, and the fact that they use glass instead of plastic was a nice touch. For someone as tall as me, I see the little curve in the glass. So everything has like kind of like a magnified look to it. Everything looks either taller or shorter than it is. So I don't know if you notice, sometimes I'm like this while I'm driving because I don't know how the turn actually looks like. So that's a little bit of a weird feeling when you're driving. So in the end, I'm surprised how well built this vehicle is. I thought it was gonna be dangerous or unstable, 
but you never get that feeling whatsoever. You could cruise at 80 miles per hour on the highway and you not even know that you're in a three-wheeler. And as far as comfort goes, it's as comfortable as it would get for something like this. I just wish that it had a little bit more cushion or some sort of lumbar support. Now, the looks are questionable, but it does look cool, which makes it unique. And it's not particularly quick after you pass zero to 60. It kind of dies down, it has really no high end. It really struggles to pass 80 and really build speed. But overall, it's a fun, enjoyable car, and I think it's perfect for a place like California that never rains. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.